We are all bound by the river. We're all bound by the water that the Colorado River and its tributaries provide. And there's not a, anything in Colorado, in Western Colorado in particular, that happens without the involvement of the Colorado River. Okay. We can't grow crops. We can't generate electricity. We can't drink water. And we can't exist as a society without water. And it's that water that is provided by the Colorado River that ties us all together. So we're, as a population, going to have to figure out how to do more with less and spread this resource out. The Upper Colorado River Basin in Colorado are trying to currently figure out um, what sort of steps and what sort of tools we might have in our toolbox to help um, improve our efficiency, um, uh, explore the possibility of a demand management program and what that might look like in the upper Colorado River Basin. There are 15 counties on the western side of Colorado that create 65 percent of the flow of the Colorado River. That river feeds 40 million people, seven states, and two countries. We have an enormous obligation in western Colorado to make sure that that water is clean, is available, and flows to all of us. I think we're all, we're all beginning to see that climate change is an additional stressor to the systems we've become accustomed to and, and have kind of built our operations around. As, as other agricultural regions within the Colorado River Basin um, begin to struggle with supply limitations and really, I guess what I'd call some water security concerns, can we be confident that we are going to have supply not only just next year, but five years, 10 years, 15 years, and, and, and even a generation out. I think that, that it becomes a real concern. You know, as, as, a, as somebody drives up into the higher elevations and you see the amount of, the amount of veal kill and you see um, the dry conditions and, and you can read the reports on soil moisture, I think that starts to become frightening because, you know, those forested areas are where our supply originates. And, and, and given the size of some of the wildfires, one um, locally here that, that at least for a, for a few weeks was the largest wildfire in Colorado history and then was quickly surpassed by two others, um, you know, how that landscape change affects us, at least for me, is still unknown, but I think is probably, you know, certainly is a concern, is, is how that affects hydrology, how that affects our spring runoff, how that affects how much snowpack we have. Using less water absolutely has to be a part of the solution. And I think it has to be on the table for many, many entities up and down the river. Because we just, I, I, I don't think, it, I, it's not prudent planning at this point to assume that the status, that we can continue with the status quo. It's gonna require the cooperation and collaboration of all of the upper basin states in terms of what that program might look like. We are worried that if Lake Powell continues to drop, that um, we will not have the ability to move that water downstream if the water levels drop low enough or below the power pool level. I think the only way we succeed as a society is by coming together and recognizing that our agricultural interests, our industrial interests, our urban interests are all tied together. My family was you know, raised in the belief system that a farmer rancher leaves their field ranch farm condition in a better place on an annual level and we were also raised in a family that understands that um, if the world is our farm we need to understand how we are managing our farm because as conditions sit the world is changing and I don't believe that we are adapting fast enough to that change. So what do we do? It, it means that all of us regardless of our legal rights, regardless of what's on paper, we need to consider how we can use less water and we need to take action immediately. This is not a matter of 
um, you know, exercising our political rights or our, our freedoms. It's a matter of, of actually coming together and protecting the river and the communities that depend on it. I, I think climate change is drying out the headwaters and everybody in the Colorado River Basin needs to be concerned.